Here is how you can create beautiful frames for your photos. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer. Let's get started. We all have these amazing moments in our lives or for our clients that deserve beautiful frames. So let me show you how that is done. Well, you would think a rectangle would be a good idea and then punching a hole in the middle. And I want to show you why that does not work. Let's duplicate that rectangle and then I will scale it down in ratio. And you can see that suddenly you have wider sides than the borders on the top and on the bottom. Why is this happening? Well, because the width of your rectangle is bigger than the height. So when you scale it down in ratio, the width is shrinking faster than the height. And this is the effect we get. So how do we circumvent this problem? Well, it's actually very easy. You scale that rectangle up to the full size of your image and then you go to fill and say no fill up here and then you go here to your outline your border and you select the solid line style and you make it as big as you want i will make it a little bit bigger here so you can see what is going on let's say 700 there we go really big border and of course you can select the stroke color i will leave it at white because we are going to put a beautiful texture on it and a bevel effect to make it look 3d and real amazing and with this technique you can design hundreds if not thousands of frames that are completely individual and fit your taste or the taste of your clients so here we go first of all what you want to do is to make two duplicates of this rectangle so right click duplicate and then again right click duplicate we will turn off the upper two versions and then i want to show you another mistake that you should avoid i will use the bevel effect on this so we go here to effect down here to bevel emboss and click on the little cogwheel here because this will open up this window with a lot more settings now if i turn this on you can immediately see that we are starting to get a certain effect here. And that already looks pretty good. Let's go from pillow to emboss. It's better. Then we click here on profile and let's select a nice profile. And that's even better. But what we see is that this effect is just in the middle. It is not on the border around here. This part is still flat. How can I fix that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. What you want to do here is go back to layers and you have to remember that that rectangle has a border and that border is going inside and outside. So there's a lot of the border we don't see on the outside. How do we fix that? Pretty easy. Right click on that rectangle and say rasterize and trim this will turn it into a pixel layer but at the same time cut it down to the size of our canvas so when we do this you're asked if you want to preserve the layer effects yes you want to do that it's very important so rasterize this with the effects and suddenly the outside effect appears too so you can see we already have a pretty cool border here right now when we go back to our effects here and we adjust this profile this is actually the most important part here that profile you can see you can shape this in any kind of way and form you like and you can even make more points here and make this a really interesting and complex frame now you might wonder why this sticks to the outside right now well this has to do with that radius up here this is stopping at 100 but you can enter number here let's go with 150 and now we have a border that is going closer to the center of our frame you can also see that we have our emboss effect in here we don't want to have that how do we fix this well again that's pretty easy we go back to our layer and we need to use a little work around we want to right click on our pixel layer and create a group from that like so and then with the rectangle duplicate that we have created before we want to turn that on like so you can see this is on top and now 
this part here is revealed. So right click on that and say mask to below. And this will use that rectangle as a mask. And as you can see now, everything inside of the picture is clean again. By the way, here is another thing that you might wonder of, and that is, well, this is covering up a lot of the image. Can I fix that too? Yes, that is possible. You simply click on the picture. If there is a lock sign here, little lock, click on that lock to unlock that layer and then take the side here, hold your control key on the keyboard and then move it inwards. But be careful because this, of course, has the same problem. So you only can do it as far as the sides are hitting your frame or the top parts depending if it is a vertical or a horizontal picture. But now again, we see more of the picture. So how do we beautify that frame a little bit more? Well, let's go for a gold texture here because this is a wedding photo. So I've downloaded a gold texture. I've linked it below the video so you can check that out. By the way, you should also check out this video that has six different frame design ideas that are very simple to follow also in Affinity Photo, link below the video. So we scale that up to the size of the picture. And again, we use our group trick. So right click on that layer and say group. Now we have that last rectangle that we have created before. Put that on top of the group, turn it on to activate that layer. And then again, right click and mask to below. This already looks pretty good, but where is our bevel and emboss? Well, to make this visible, you want to select the whole group and then click here on our blend modes and select multiply. And there we go. We have a beautiful golden layer. But more than that, you can now put other stuff inside of that group. Let's go here for a wood layer, for example. There we go. We have some nice wood. Let's turn it over here. And then again, we put it like this. And now we simply have to pull this into the group because everything else is set up already. And if you think, hey, that wood is very nice, but it's a little bit too bright for me. Well, you can simply create a curve layer here, pull that down a little bit. And there you go. You have a dark wood frame. Or if you say, I want to have something with a little bit more texture on it that is also golden. Let's go like this. Actually, let's turn this upside down so the light is coming from the right direction. Pull it again into the group and there we go. Look at how beautiful that frame is with that pattern on it. And here is the best part. You can still go here into the other group where the bevel emboss effect is. Click on the pixel layer and then click here on effects and on the cogwheel. And you can still adjust this design. Look at that. I can still go like this. I can still make it any way I want. And on top of that, you still have your direction here. That is the light direction. So you can move that around. And this also will change the shape and the look of your frame inside design. So that's pretty beautiful that you can do that. And of course, also you might think, well, I want to have a little bit of a shadow here where the frame is touching the photo. You can do that too by going to outer shadow, not inner shadow as you might think outer shadow, but you have to be careful which one because not this one. You want to make this on the group itself. Why? Because we have a rectangle as a mask, so the mask would hide the shadow. So we have to do it for the full group. Select the group, go to effects, go to outer shadow and then have the radius and have the offset. And you see this is moving in. Now what you want to do here is to just have a slight small shadow because otherwise it looks like the frame is too far away. And then also because the frame is pretty close to the photo, you also want to have a very small radius. So not very soft because otherwise, again, it looks like the frame is too far away from the image. I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members. All of that helps me a lot. Thank you. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Bye.